Hello guys, welcome back to Reaction Channel. It's Rav here and Kelly's pause. Kelly's pause. Yeah, Kelly. How's our day today, Kelly? Our day was really good. You know, today I'm very excited because we're gonna be reacting to another video, and uh, it is called Joan Jett and the Block Hearts. The title of the song, Kelly, is "I Love Rock and Roll." Ah. Did you hear that before, Kelly? So because uh, you know why I, we I choose this one, Kelly. No. This is not the comment or request. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about because few occasions that we get more talents, more power, woman uh -huh. that we react. You know, more mostly our our woman uh, mm -hmm. singers. So I was thinking about way back, back, back before. It was this? She was uh, name. She's not Joan Jett, her name is Joan Marie Larkin. Oh. And she's born in 1958 and she's an American rock singer, songwriter, composer, musician, record producer, and occasional actress. So she is the front woman of these Joan Jett and the Blockhearts. So her first hit single is the I Love Rock and Roll. It was number one in the billboard for seven weeks in 1982 Kelly. It must be a good music because I listen to this music mm -hmm. times. I, I think you're gonna love it. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, so I... we can wait guys. So Kelly's getting excited now for this uh, not request but it's my peak of the day. Okay bye. Cool, huh? Yeah, and I also really like um her voice. Her voice goes really well with the music. So yeah, and I also like her like her hair. I like her hair a lot. <laughs> it was the eighties, early eighties. Yeah. You see that before now, those kind of thing, huh? all those black makeups mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Huh? Yeah. Oh, she was good, man. When I listened to this uh, first music with her, I said I like the, the the guitar riff. You know, ging ging. She plays good too. It's again, I love that you see that the guitar went ding ding yeah. ding yeah? yeah which is singing and then the the lead the solo there is good the same so can I take your heart where we can be alone and next to the moving on it was with me yeah me yeah me next to the moving on it was with me Do you know the joke box? Do you see? Do you hear that? Uh, the the lyrics there. He said, oh, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, yeah. Sing me like mm -hmm. a joke box, baby. You know that? Do you, do you know what's joke box? Like those, like those big box thingies. I don't know. You know joke box. You know never. That's the old. You know. I think. How I, I don't know. It's like an old radio. What is the when it started? But when I was in eighties. When we listen to music, it's a big yeah, I know. stereo box, and you put the money there, and then you choose the yeah, song there. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, huh? yeah, I know. Have you tried it before? No, no. There's some uh, pubs, 
or bar that still have those kind of thing. I really really like um, this song because uh, it's like a really like I guess like a jolly song you know like it's like makes you happy and stuff like that yeah and, yeah yeah that's true yeah, Kelly like, and when you hear the song it makes you jolly and you know yeah and I also really like the, the drums there too they're really good and uh, yeah obviously I like the uh, Joan Jett's voice is that her name Joan Jett? yeah yeah well yeah I really like her voice and uh, like I said it goes really well with the music and you know the they're just uh, amazing overall. So yeah. You see that when she's yeah, she's I really like, like that part too. <laughs> she's like yeah, yeah, it's like a cat or something. <laughs> Jit in the block mm. hearts. I love rock and roll, man. Me, I love rock and roll. <laughs> so, Kelly, so what's the song facts? Paul, oh, what, yes. what do you think about these? Uh, yeah, song. So, uh, this was originally recorded by a British group called The Arrow in 1975. Oh, so it was originally by the other band, yeah. The Arrow. Jet oh, was, was touring at England as a member of all of an all teenage girl group called The Runaways, which when she discovered the song, she wanted to record it with The Runaways, but the other members didn't like the song and made the mistake of passing it up. Oh. So in 1979, Jet recorded it with Paul Cook and Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols, and released it as a B-side. Finally, in 1981, Jet recorded the song with her band Black Hearts, resulting in a monster hit. Oh, that was a good fun fox there, girl, song fox. Yes. Because, uh, you know, these uh, Six Pistols is one of these uh, punk early, uh, you know, know, band pioneers in in music, you know? I didn't know that. So you never hear those bands before. One day you're going to hear them. So Six Pistols is from England. Oh. They were a fa famous uh, punk bands. And they were the pioneers, you know? So anyway, yes. so that song was from the other band. Yes. Okay, so what do you think about the song, Kelly? Yes. Um, so she made that song just to make everyone uh, make the song. Uh, yeah, top. I guess. I guess. Oh, it's a really nice song. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, I really like the song because, you know, like I said, it makes me feel jolly in a way. It so when you're feel... tired and you, you want to relax and listen to that song? I mean, it's yeah. It's energizes, energizes yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And it's true. I also I really like um, you know the the guitar the guitar is really good. Huh? Yeah, they, he he was really good too, and you know the drums were also good too, and you know uh, Joanne's voice was really good. It, goes, it went really well with the music, and you know her singing. I really like the part that the 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 like the yeah I really like that part. Yeah, when she's <laughs> screaming like that. Yeah, and she's just like a screaming cat, huh? Yeah, like, like a screaming like... cat. It's really hard to do that, man. She's good, man. Yeah. I don't know how the original song was made, but I think that she made it really good because mm -hmm. that music when she made it, boom. Yeah. Just stop it. And then, yeah. And I thought that that music was her original. Mm. I was like surprised when you I, we, when you hear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you read that uh, song facts there. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. I hope it's true. It's right that we choose that thing. Mm -hmm. So overall, I love that music as well. I listen to this music 
many occasions and uh, Kelly said that when you listen to the song it makes you feel jolly away, especially mm -hmm. when you're lonely yeah. or kind of depressed or whatever. So mm -hmm. anyway guys, that's a really nice song, all these. So I'm thinking about that song because there's a few reactions we did is more of his woman power vocalist yeah. and I think one of the guys in the comments is you just give Kelly more or you know this kind of thing because you know you're all your lady and you know it's different uh, you know yeah and most of these especially the Japanese bands that we react is all women yeah vocals so yeah that's why I said to myself okay it's not about about feminist or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know masculine mm -hmm. or whatever it's more of you know kind of music how they make it but anyway music is always universal man whatever you know gender is always be always good and overall kelly yes um i, I really liked it and yes make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you we will be making more videos so stay tuned yes guys please please and you know it's more another reaction videos to come without your support guys we're not making true through those hails but you know it's always uh, be a good thing that mm -hmm. our subscribers are you know getting going there up and